Books.com, and I'm here today with Tara Hudson, Hello. who is the author of Here After. She's here today. And so, so I heard that you um, did a little cemetery research kind of yeah. for the ghosty part of this. I did. Um, actually, a lot of, a few scenes in Hereafter are based in a cemetery. Uh, that's not too much of a spoiler because the main character is a ghost, so guess where she spends her time. Um, and so uh, there is a cemetery that I used to be drugged to, uh, dragged to by my grandparents when I was a kid. And it's in this uh, really overgrown clearing and really creepy place and I never knew much about it. I found out later it was my family cemetery. It's been around since the 1800s, which wow. in Oklahoma is a big deal. Nothing's well, been around since the 1800s. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and so, so that place kept coming back to me when I was writing Hereafter and I knew I wanted to incorporate it because it's one of those really creepy places you think like, who who's here at night? And in my mind it's so. Um, Did you ever see a real ghost out there? You have my moments, you know, sometimes it might be a deer, <laughs> but I can pretend, right? <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, but you do, you get that creepy feeling, like, yeah. you know. I've never had the guts to go out in the dark. It's definitely in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of the forest. Yeah. Just so do you believe in the ghosts? Is, is that what keeps you, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the idea about places have memories, and so I think that you know, human emotion can sort of change a place and affect it and kind of leave a print on it. That's why, like, when you go into an old cathedral or, you know, really, um, like, you know, a subway that's not been in use. So you just have a strange sense of presence, and so I kind of think that human emotions linger, mm -hmm. whether or not that's ghosts. Uh, that's up to you guys. When does the sequel come out? I don't know. Um, I know it comes out sometime next summer. It's probably going to be May or June. Um, the sequel is Arise, and uh, we go back with Amelia and Joshua, but this time things are not so happy uh, anymore and they have to go and do something and it involves the French Quarter of New Orleans, so, Ooh, which is the creepiest of, place on earth and it's amazing. So. Change of location. Yes. Do, do we get to see um, any of our old friends? We might, we might, we might see a few, we might see some old ghost friends and we're definitely going to see some new ones. There's a lot of new villains, so, and you're actually not going to know who is a villain, so. Oh. I can't wait, I can't wait until it's published, I'm dying. Okay, so everybody. Look for her sequel, Arise, in stores next summer. And with that, we will see you in the stacks. Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye.